Hey guys, today I'm doing my jewelry storage and organizational setup. I'm going to show you guys exactly the situation I have going on behind the curtains as you can see. And if you're not familiar with my YouTube channel and my YouTube setups, I know I might get a lot of Stella and Dot lovers. Welcome, holler, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey. So this is actually my backdrop for filming and I have lights which I'll show you and so the twinkle little curtain comes to life in the background of my YouTube videos. So what you're looking at is a closet but we took off the closet doors and hung these curtains and lights and I just pull the lights and the curtains back when I need into the closet. I love the space. I love how it is maximized for what I'm going to use it for. You know, a regular closet inside my makeup room slash home office just wasn't really cutting it for me. So I love, I love how the situation or the setup is right now. I'm going to be sharing with you where I got everything, if I can, you know, recall, which I'm pretty sure I can. And I will also have some of the stuff or most of the stuff that I can find linked down below so you can check that out. If you have any further questions, feel free to let me know in the comments and I will do my best to get back to those. And let's see, I'm also gonna show you or tell you guys as we go like what I kind of regret as far as like purchasing for organization and storage and like what I would recommend over it. So hopefully just overall, this video will be super helpful. If you're curious as to why I have so much jewelry, it's for business and pleasure. <laughs> I love jewelry, but I'm also a Stella and Dot independent stylist, which I love. That light right there, I'm sure somebody will ask. It's just, oops, it's just a lotus light, a beauty dish that's from DVE store that I use for filming my YouTube videos. So hopefully that will give me adequate light. Moving in a little bit closer, what I first wanted to show you in case you're curious, I do wanna show you the lights in case you're not familiar with my YouTube setup, my YouTube filming setup. I do have all those lights and they just dangle down and I just love the effect. And when I'm working in here not filming videos, I sometimes have them on. They do get a little bit hot, so anyway. String lights are from Target. Curtains are from Ikea. Let's go ahead and start with this view and I'll start with kind of the biggest or the largest pieces of furniture. I mean, if you can even call them furniture, but it's these cubes and basically it's two cubes that are eight, eight cubes each and I just have them stacked on one another. And those are from Target and I believe the brand is Closet Made. They work really great, but if I were to do it all over again, and probably just for maybe $20 or $30 more, what I would have preferred is to have done the Billy bookcases from Ikea. You know, that way you don't have the constraints of the boxes or of the little cubes. And so you can just, I can have more mannequins or more bust forms, just, you know, closer in proximity. I just feel like it'd be a little bit more space maximizing. Bookshelves would be perfect for this kind of storage. But it is kind of cool and how it worked out. Those stair light, oops, those stair light drawers, they fit in the cube like almost like they were made to be in there. And then these little bins down here, they are sold separately, but they do go, oops, where am I? But they do go with the cube set. And I think the cube set comes in other colors as well. It's, it's really great for what it is, but like I said, I just wish I had a, I wish I had a shelf. Now we are in one of the corners of my closet. And as you can see, I just have those little U-hooks up there that I hang my jewelry from. I'm just trying to give you guys an overview first and then I'll get into details. I think that would be the most helpful. I do want to point out though, that <laughs> you can see that there's some painting that needs to be done because when my husband removed the built-in closet, which it wasn't like a big ordeal. It was pretty easy. When he removed it, you know, some of the stuff had to be like where it was attached and mounted to the wall it needed to be patched and we just haven't gotten around to painting it yet. And ideally I would like to paint it basically like a white, maybe a beige white color just to make it more brighter. That's what I'm all about. And I would love to switch out the brackets that hold up that shelf because I don't really love the aesthetics of them, but it is what it is for right now. And the shelf up above, there's a shelf. I'm not gonna get into that stuff. It's just some beauty YouTube stuff, kind of back, back stock, some hair extensions, 
and uh, just some random stuff. And then let me scroll you over to this corner. And the other corner here, as opposed to having the little U-hooks like I have on the majority of the other side, I have these frames that came pre-made and they're great if you don't wanna mount anything to your wall because they do like stand up like a true picture frame. They can be just freestanding like on a dresser. For the purposes of my setup, I don't really like to have a lot of as much as possible a lot of clutter or stuff that's on basically I want stuff put away or hanging you know so it's not out so anyway I didn't really love it for those but I already had them so I just had my husband mount them to the wall and they are very very beautiful but I feel like even if I were to take those down and then go back and put all these other u-hooks up I would get more space and be able to hang more stuff but I'm pretty set as far as capacity goes because I have recently gone through and decluttered and I'm going to be having a YouTube sale, a YouTube sample sale. So stay tuned for that. I will be selling my gently used items that are retired and I just can't use for business purposes anymore. So I'll be selling those at great discounted prices. And then moving down, I just have the Alex Ikea nine drawer. I didn't originally get that for jewelry organization. It was for makeup, but I just find that it works better for jewelry and odds and ends because it just works better. <laughs> so if you're looking for makeup storage, I definitely recommend the wide on casters, like the short, I believe it's a five or six drawer. I'll link those below as well for makeup. And if you're curious, just up on top of that Alex 9 drawer, I have some Milani nail polishes that I need to put on my nail polish rack. And then this here is one of the bins of all the stuff that I declutter that I will be selling or giving away to friends and family. And then over there, I have these kind of sprinkled around. I just have clear command hooks to add as extra, oops, extra hanging space. Oh, and then I don't know if I showed you guys this one. This is just a smaller frame that I try to hang more delicate stuff from. And then here is like a weird view of, I don't really want to show you my makeup room or my office because it's really dirty. Anyway, that's the lights. Up on top, I just have, this is the situation. So I have bus forms and on my bus forms, even the ones that are in the second, on the second shelf, I just like to keep pieces that I'm inspired by, new pieces that I have outfit ideas for and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, so the bus forms actually are Stell and Dot Stylus exclusives, which I'm so glad that I was able to get them because they weren't that expensive. I think they're like 14 bucks if you're a stylist. Wait, yeah, 14 bucks. They're very, very sturdy and they're just great for storage. And then another bus form that I don't really love is this flat one. It just it stands like that. It's just kind of crappy. And that was like five or six bucks. So definitely worth it to get that kind. And don't mind my hands. <laughs> I was working on a Makeup Geek eyeshadow video. So I had like swatches all over. Anyway, so I have these plastic drawers. And I believe all my plastic drawers are from the brand Sterilite. I will link the exact ones below. I'm pretty sure I got them either at Target or Walmart, depending on which size. Now, I believe these ones came in six drawers, but as you can see, those are four drawers. So I just break them apart and put them back together depending on what suits my needs. So let's go ahead and show you inside of the drawers. So what I've been doing is I've been saving foam that I get inside my Stella and Dot packages. So anytime you order jewelry, basically, you'll get a little, a beautiful little box and you'll get foam because it comes packaged really well. And so I've just been collecting that and saving that. And so in this drawer, I just kind of, you know, they kind of wiggle around. It's not like absolutely ideal, but it's cost effective and yeah. So I just kind of stick those in there. And then same with this one, I have some hoops and some other earrings. I try to categorize them as you'll see, like I have a stud drawer, like a more statement earring drawer, and these are just kind of like in between for me. And then in these drawers, I just have a necklace there that's a beautiful little drawer to pull out. And another one. 
And then some of my favorite florally ones were leather feathers. And then here, and some of the other ones, what I tried to do, and hopefully you guys can see, I'm sorry, is I just paired my matching sets. So the Kaya pendant, it has matching earrings that you can wear with it, so I just paired those together. And here is a statement necklace there, which I love. Another somewhat statement, the Crosby Link necklace. And then in this drawer, I have earrings. And so this little, it's kind of like a felt lined compartment thing. It's very thin, you can see how thin it is. I got those on eBay and those were a total regret. They were somewhat inexpensive, but for what they are, just not worth it. But I did have them, so I tried to make them work. So I just cut them down to size so they would fit in the drawers. I'll show you here in a moment like what it looks like before you start chopping it up. But so that's just what I'm using for earrings. I mean, ideally I would like something that's a little bit more less shallow so the earrings because you know if you shake it a lot they'll you know overlap or whatever. This is just kind of a hod oops, hodgepodge drawer. Some earrings that I had out on display but I come in there and earrings that I haven't worn yet. And then this thing is pretty cool. Have you guys heard of this? The bracelet buddy? I have another one that I've tried. It's supposed to help you put on your bracelets easier which I am challenged when it comes to that. So another earring drawer, same thing, those felt line plastic trays, I don't even know if it's like real felt, but, and then this drawer is studs. So yeah, if I like shake it up, they'll probably like hop over and, you know, get disorganized. You just gotta be gentle. So let's move over here. The same thing, I've just been saving up foam, and so on these drawers I just have more necklaces that have matching like earrings and bracelet sets so I know to go all matchy matchy if I feel like it that day. Or just like statement necklaces that I just don't want to hang up. That's one of my favorites. What are you? So just like sets and more sets. Here is a closer look at the U-hooks. My husband just drilled them down from the shelf, which I'm sure you could put them in the wall too, but I'm trying to get up there. Yeah, he just put them like hanging down from the shelf. So love those. They're just so cheap and they just work so, so well. So I have over here some of my longer like pendant necklaces that I like to kind of layer with other stuff. See, there's a <laughs> it needs to be painted, but oh well. And I do have a mirror behind there, which I don't really use anymore because I just use my vanity mirror to put on my jewels. So, whoops, here is a little pan for the top part. <laughs> I just wanted to show you a quick close up of this, and I have them throughout the top row of the cubes. It's just a command strip that I hang. Again, newer pieces or pieces that are long and I, I want to make an extra effort to wear. So you can see that I have them like right there and there. I was going to put some down below, like down right down there, but some of some of them hang so long anyway and I'm tall, so I like to have stuff at my you know, eye level so I see it and so I wear it. Okay, so let's move on to these drawers, again by Sterilite. Now, I told you that the ones up there that I already showed you, the smaller ones, I just took apart and then rebuilt them to however many, you know, drawers I wanted, but these, this kind doesn't, doesn't come apart. So it's just what you get three. I mean, you can certainly stack them three and three, but you can't like break them down. It's in, it's in, uh, groups of three, if you will. So in these Sterilite drawers, what I did is I just lined them with felt that I got at Walmart. I'm sure you can get it anywhere. <laughs> so I just have felt in there, you know, just so it's a little bit more gentle on the on the jewelry and so it doesn't slide as much. I mean, probably not a must have, but I don't know, I like it. <laughs> and so yeah, not the most like visually pleasing with these Sterilite drawers, but let me tell you, I've tried a ton of different setups and different ways to do this 
and this just seems like the easiest. Like I used to have the bracelet bar, which I'll show you, but it just was too hard to like get to the one in the middle. You had to like take them all off and then they're all off and if you're running late, you know, you have to put them all, it's just a mess. So I like it like this. So on the bottom one I have like silvers, golds, and I just, you know, you can just choose. I like it, it's almost like more of a boutique. And then on the top drawer of that one, more kind of gold variations. This is Alex and Ani. Actually, QVC sent this to me. And these are like super popular, I think. Haven't worn mine yet, but I'm excited too. And then on top, this is really nice how this worked out. This is just a, like a jewelry tray that I believe was from, or is from Bed Bath & Beyond. And I have more of these, which I'll show you. But I just acted like, or treated this like it was another drawer. So in here, I have like my gold, more chunky statement rings. Let me see if I can do this without it flipping over. And then silver, whoops. Silver like statement rings. Have my Zo Zoe Lariat. And then just more like mixed metals. And then my rings, which I love rings so much. And then this is just the blue feather version or part of the plume necklace. So you can just detach it off and just decide if you wanna be a black or blue feathers. So I really loved how that just fits in there so perfectly. And then moving over here, the next drawer, kind of the same thing with this, but it's a little bit different. So this one has the necklace ones here and then smaller compartments, which I just have, haven't really filled this one up too much. Just have some charms and some non Stella and Dot earrings, which I probably will give to my sister next time I see her just because I find that they irritate my ears. My body is very high maintenance apparently. So then in here, the necklace ones, I just keep more delicates and stuff like that. And obviously I need to fill it up. So in the top drawer, we just have the same concept, felt lined. And in case you're curious, I didn't know how much felt was. It's only like 25 cents a sheet, so very affordable. And so in this one, I just have kind of mixed metals, bracelets. I just seriously love how you can just see it all, choose whatever you want and then be done with it. And uh, it just makes it easy. And then here is more like a variation of bracelets. Not necessarily gold or silver, but you know, you get it. This one is not still in dot. I've tried to get rid of it or give it away, but I can't because it's just so cool. <laughs> the last drawer is going to be another silver drawer. So it'll be like this bottom one is silver and then silver. So you get it. So there's those. And moving over to this drawer on top of here. I just have a smaller version of that felt lined jewelry holder <laughs> and I just put my sil or my excuse me my gold delicates in there and I don't oh yes because I traveled and I packed some in, in my packing travel things so that's why it's not very filled up so in these drawers I just have more of these things which I've had forever and I just try to use what I have I just have my gold more delicate pieces and then oops just kidding fail nothing in that drawer I'll, I'll fill it up with more like mixed metals or rose gold type because I have a ton of these little divider things and then the, this one is basically like the same one as the gold but in silver so delicate silver pieces those are just trays that are stylus exclusives that we use at in-person trunk shows to just display all the jewelry. I use it for organization sometimes. Um, and then down here, I just have like compartment felt lined. They just look like that. I have two. I got these years ago at TJ Maxx. So right there, I just have a couple travel makeup and toiletry type bags. Some more Stella and Dot travel stuff, travel bags back there. I have these these two jewelry holders, which I'm actually gonna try to sell because I just don't find that they work for me. Stuff gets jumbled. I'm kind of like a bowl in a china shop when I'm getting ready in a hurry and it's just kind of a disaster for me personally. And then let me try to show you what's in these drawers or these little cubbies. There's nothing really important in that one. It's just a bunch of packaging to be honest. And then this one I have 
the bracelet bars that I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to hold on to them or sell them. I don't know. I'll put a picture here of what it looks like, like when it's filled up, but you know, like when you want a bracelet that's on the inside and you have to rip all the other ones off to get to that one. I just, I'm too lazy. Also a stylist exclusive for that. And then in here, I just have some travel, organizational traveling stuff. That one's from Container Store. I have a Stella and Dot one. Apologize if I'm not in frame. I'm trying to look and make sure it's in focus, so that one. And then in case you're wondering, this tray right here is more, there's actually a couple of them, is jewelry that I'm going to be selling. So if you see anything you like, Stay tuned for my YouTube sale. I've never done a YouTube sale before, so it's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve for me, I'm sure. And then in here, I just have more organizational things. A lot of these are stylist exclusives. You put like a bra like bracelets on here and you can see how an arm party would look. It's kind of cute. And then a ring holder, which I really do like, but I just find that this, can you even see that, oops, just kidding, that this type of a, ring holder works better for me personally. Because if I want a ring that's on the bottom, you know, if I, I want a ring that's on the bottom here, I have to take off all the ones. I know it sounds stupid, but you guys feel me, right? And then just have some more of these organizational things. <laughs> kind of embarrassed, more. Basically, this is full of these. Cause this is how I used to store all my jewelry. Like before I did Stella and Dot and all that stuff. This one is just randomly here. It is eyelash hiss, eyelash, anything you would need for, well, wedges. I use this when I do makeup, freelance makeup. I just basically, this is my little back stock and I go and put it in my kit, whatever I need. Sometimes I'll use it for me too, but there's that, and then last, down here, I just have some going out bags or clutches, mostly Stella and Dot. I have this, which was from the NYX party, the unveil party. It was so fun, it was in LA, and so good memories, I don't wanna throw that away. <laughs> so just some like, over the shoulder type bags, my Tia crossbody, which I don't think they sell this anymore, which I don't know why. Another Tia crossbody. Tech wallet. This was like an incentive that I earned and some other stuff like that. Just like clutches and city slims. So yeah. And then just briefly, I'm gonna show you what's in my Alex drawers. They're not organized or whatever, but I'll just show you. This is like a catch-all drawer. So I have like bracelet extenders, my watches, some jewelry that I got I don't really like. Nothing, because I recently organized for this video. Nothing, nothing. In this drawer, I have this little thing, which is for delicate. Oops, sorry, that was out of frame. Let me show you again. It's just like a little book, it's suede lined, and you can just store and display your delicates. Good for a trunk show. I have this suede lined like little portfolio that's a great jewelry storage organization for travel, but I'm not gonna show it to you because it's a stylist exclusive. But if you are a stylist and you don't have that, it's amazing. In this drawer, you see, I just have my purse in organ organizer, which is great for toiletries, jewelry, everything. And then I have some backup felt. And then I want to show you, this is kind of how those other little suede line plastic sheets that I got off eBay, this is what they come like. I did cut this, it was a little bit longer, but they're just chintzy, not worth, not worth the money. They weren't cheap enough to make it worth even taking a fail on it, you know? My charm holder from Purse N, which I love. So you can put, whoops, you can put like little delicates in there. Love that. The next drawer is kind of embarrassing. It's just old ghetto hair. It's like hair extension, so. <laughs> and the last drawer is more eyelashes. 
you know, this is the drawer that I use more so for personal use. That is everything, you guys. I hope it was helpful, and I hope it gave you some ideas of how to store your jewelry. Let me know down below if you're a Stella and Dot stylist and whoever you are, let me know like what your favorite way to store jewelry and stuff like that is because I think it's really fun to feed off each other and you know get ideas. That's what it's all about. So I feel like this video was really long. I apologize. Thank you for hanging on till the end. If you did, please subscribe. If you're not, I'll see you guys later. Bye.